What's up, nerds? Gosmaster here, aka G2 the 3, with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest, we need to fix Ravnica at war. I friggin' hate this event. I loathe, I despise, cannot stand whatsoever the stupid frickin' event. Why, do you ask? Because you can go damn near flawless in this event, and you're going to wind up ranking really, 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 really low. Because if you don't go flawless, you're not going to qualify for the deal. So let me first off show you how I basically win these events most of the time, um, but then also show you why it's such a waste of time. All right, so I set this up wrong. I have uh, Sarkon in my top node. He should be in my bottom left node. I have uh, Tamio in my right node, and then I should have, like... Kiori or somebody on my top node uh, because of this build. I'm going to show you the build right now, all right? So for this build, one of the cards that you're going to be abusing to win if you've got it is Nullhide Ferox. Nullhide Ferox is broken. It's going to be broken until September. It's going to be broken forever. It's a great card for events, especially like this, because you can go and basically I call it Nullhide Control. I use it to control the rest of the board, control their hand, especially if I have whatever primary color it is plus blue. So if I have green and blue, those are the two colors you want to have in order to pull off this deal. So who is Nullhide Ferex? If you're not familiar with him, he's 12 for an 8-8 untargetable. That alone is beast, but the way they penalize him, while this creature is in play, the cost of your spells and supports is increased by 10 whenever a player exiles a card from their hand. Until the beginning of the next turn, this creature loses hexproof, and the cost of your spells and supports is reduced by 10. So whenever a player exiles a card from their hand, that's how you basically make him targetable so you can kill the creature, right? Uh, however, it's that last little sentence. The cost of your spells and supports is reduced by 10. When this card is discarded by an opposing effect, return it to your hand with full mana. That first, the, that last little sentence is the driving force. We discard cards from our hand, makes the cards in our hands cheaper, uh, supports cheaper. We cast them for zero, basically. And the, the grind to that is two things. You want to have some type of re-swap the you know it's a masterpiece it's going out as well uh to stitch in time spell card gain one extra swap if there are 10 or more blue gems gain uh one extra swap if there are 10 or more red gems gain one extra swap so if there's 10 and 10 you can potentially get three swaps from one casting of this card realistically you're going to get one sometimes you might get two but if you can pull off three you're my hero anyways then what's the rest of the deck consist of tamio collector of tales stitch uh court of calling to go fetch uh, null hide if you need to, and then lots of draw. Nissa, repeated reverberation helps us to achieve our, our objectives here. Finale of Revelation is the best draw card for null hide. For some reason, if it's something less than 10, it just pays it off. I think it's a bug, but it works. Casualties of War for, for helping um, maintain their board presence, eliminates them, uh, and uh, non uh, land support. It goes after, I mean, it's just brilliant. This is the best removal card in this uh, deck outside of Ruinous ultimatum which isn't available for this event destroy the first opposing creature destroy, uh, destroy an opposing artifact support destroy an opposing enchantment support destroy an opposing land support oh it doesn't go after land supports destroy an opposing vanguard support if you got one of any of those potentially you can get like five things off the boards awesome there's only one support that avoids this one which is the hyxus which you'll just pop with this you have enough time control you can just go pop it and set it up and you can do it yourself so it's not that big a deal uh, Days Undoing is the control for their hand, and then you want Narset, part of Veils. Why Narset? The fancy one, by the way. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player can't draw cards until the end of turn. So you use this to uh, Days Undoing, and that basically eliminates all the cards from their hand. That's how we control their hand. So we control the board with Cord, excuse me, with Casualties of War. We control their hand with Days Undoing and Narset, and then we just cycle until we get a creature big enough to go. The objectives here... Uh, six or more spells, easy peasy, and two or more vanguard supports during the fight. No worries, we already have those built in. Let's go beat this guy. All right, so we're facing Raleigh Boy. I got two null hides. Uh, I'm going to not cast that. I don't want two on the board. I just want one. And let's go see what drops we got. Psst. We are green, blue, red. I have to say my mantra, green, blue, red. Green, blue, red. And I don't see anything in my colors. What colors is he? Green and blue. So we want to do red and blue and then green wherever we can. Um, and we want to avoid cascading into something for him. So let's just push over here. Uh, green, blue, red. Yeah, let's just push. So let's go there. 
Look at that. It turns out to be the best drop in the land. All right, so he gets some white. I get the red. We're off to the races. And normally I would want to say, like, oh, okay, get cards out of your hand so you leave room for <clears throat> your good cards to come in. But in this case, we want to keep our hand as full as possible with draw cards as well. So let's get him on the board, take the blue. I don't think we left him with any good swaps, and I think we're good from there. Let's see. His hand power is... He's got a card that's coming out, so fine. That's fine. All right, so now we see the power of him. We ditch Null Hide, and you see our cards come down in strength. We don't need two Nissa Revelations, and in fact, we don't even need two Casualties right now. So we will do that. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything we can take from him? I'm not seeing anything, so I'm just going to push so I can get to my ultimate as quickly as possible. All right, and then we draw all the cards. We attack them for eight. And we see the real card we're looking for, which is Revelation. All right, finale of Revelation. Okay, uh, he does not cast anything. His ability to draw is not that big a deal. Uh, we do need Narset. We don't need Nessa's Revelation. Do we have a Tamiyo? We have a Tamiyo. We don't need two Tamiyos. And that should do that. So I'm going to mute this finale so I don't because I don't want it to cast. And I am going to... Is there any five drops? No. So we're going to go here. Hopes we get a red. Nope. But we did get all of that. We don't want to cast that yet. We're just going to go ahead and wait. The neat thing about this is that no matter what card I draw next, now that I have both of my... Um, now that I have both of my uh, uh, Planeswalkers on the board, or uh, Vanguards, rather. So we don't want that, although I will show you that here in a second. I've got to get nine. I can use these to bring out other cards and fill my hand up. The thing with Finale of Revelation, I don't need to do anything to it outside of just getting rid of one card, and that's usually enough to get it done. Let's actually do that. Uh, ten's enough. Anything six or more really gives you a bonus to your blue uh, mana bonus, but I like to go 10 or 11 because it just makes things go like this. See, things just start casting for some reason. I don't know what they are. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. It's beautiful though because it's a lot of synergy. That card works really, really well with Null Hide. Now I want you to pay attention to something while we're going through this match. I want you to pay attention to how many, look, I had seven more swaps. I want you to pay attention to how many draw cards I've hit during all of this, right? It seems like every time I'm drawing a set of cards, I'm getting draw cards, right? Kind of by design, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I really love playing this deck with um, Tamiyo because once you get her mana bonus, it, it just gets bonkers after that, man. It just goes insane. So we're going to go grab another Null Hide, get that on the board. We're not going to do that. We have seven swaps, so it don't matter. Uh, we have 10 here, so let's just match that. Let's go another 11. Let's go blue. Yeah, baby. Now we are at our ultimate. And essentially right now, I believe... Let's see what happens here. Bam, bam, bam. It's going to ask me if I want to do that. Um, not now. I'll do it here in a second. Uh, quarter call. I want to beef up. Now I want to beef up my null height as big as possible because I can swing. I've already met my objectives. So I want to go swing for as much beat down as I can. We don't need a casualties of war. Actually, hold on. He doesn't have anything on the board, right? Not a, Oh, actually, what is that? Uh, he does. So we can get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of this day's undoing. We do have that casualties. We'll have that cast. And... Let's see, we'll go, hopefully we'll cascade, now we'll go here, go red, there's the blue, landfall baby, landslide, bring it down, let's go two null hides, boom, and I got four extra swaps, that's fine, that's fine, let's go here, boop, boop. That should fill that up. And then we go for the roller coaster ride again. All right, there's another Tamiyo. And wash, rinse, repeat. We don't want to do that yet. I just keep on keeping on, man. Look at that. Just, I don't know why. I have no idea how. If you guys can explain the physics behind why it continues to go, even though it shouldn't, uh, awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely take your explanation. Uh, let's do this. We're going to do... Oh, this is fun. Watch this. Let's, let's, let's demonstrate this. So we're going to do this up here. We're going to get rid of quarter calling right now because I want to show you this. 
Stitch in time, repeated reverberation, and I have a muted finale of Revelation that's full power. Ready to see some fireworks? Yes, you are. Let's do it. Boom, boom. Boom. Come on. I'm tapping the screen as quick as I can to get it through. These animations a little bit slow, but it speeds up here in a second. Watch. Bam. I don't know why. It just feeds everything. It just feeds it all. It's a beautiful thing. All right. I'm going to get rid of that and that. We're going to do one more finale. Actually, you know what we're going to do first. We're going to go get all our critters. Bam, bam, bam. And then I'm going to end this because we don't want to be here all day. This is a control deck. This is how I control my opponent. This is how I keep them from doing any silly shenanigans. Yeah, I got another five drop. It always cascades or landfalls into the best stuff when you're not really trying. Now I can control his hand. He's not going to do anything, and I'll just beat him. He's not going to bounce me. He's not going to do anything ridiculous. Oh, look at all these repeated reverberations. Let's see what I cast. <laughs> I love repeated reverberation. Sure. Let's go get some null hides. More null hide. No, we don't want to stop the loop. Are you insane? We want all of the things. We want them in the most busted ways possible. Look at this. A fistful of null hide. Let's see. Is it enough for one swing? It's enough. That's game. Three extra swaps. Let's not bore you with it. Let's just win. Let us just win. And bam. And I get two extra swaps. Bam. And last one. Bam. Big swing. Game flawless right why do i hate war of the spark greg you're or gaz you're you're busting this out you're you're destroying it you're crushing it here's why i hate this thing i went undefeated in this event so far i don't know how many more nodes are left let's double check here real quick hold on okay so i want you to pay attention to this i'm in the bracket first place one through five right that's only because these nodes reloaded the problem here is this. In this node, uh, the bottom left, right here, I was playing the last match. I was going to go flawless in this event, and I was excited. In fact, I was shooting a video to demonstrate it, but I got so mad when I lost, I couldn't post the video. It was all kinds of expletives that I could not post on the World Wide Web because someday I may be president of, you know, Octagon. I don't know. We'll see. At any rate, this stupid thing wound up, not giving me a draw card in like six turns. It finally gave me a draw card to basically go through and do it. It was already too late. I won the match, but I lost five objective points. And because of that, I'm going to rank somewhere in the maybe a hundred, uh, in the top, whatever. See, already I'm ranked number three. I'm in the top five right now, right? But look at the points. I've got 205. I'm ranked number four now, right? Because as I'm talking to you, it's starting to refresh. If I go out of it and I come back into it, I'm going to be ranked out of the top five already. I just, I know it, all right? Oh, it's still saying it. Still ranked four. All right. But I'm not going to hang on to that spot. One person's going to start filling out their nodes and they're going to get to it. And that's going to push me out of 205. Just one spot can keep me in the top 10 and the, through 25. Let's say I stay in the top 25. I get the same prize pool as one through five. So first 25, get that. I'm not going to stay there. It's going to push me all the way down into probably this range. I'll be lucky if I get two pink runes, or two pink gems, a thousand runes, and no packs, right? Which this prize is absolute garbage. If I'm strong enough, if I got decks strong enough to finish in the top five, I already have all of the cards from War of the Spark. I don't need any more booster packs. That's a stupid, unless they're all non duplicates, and even then, I already have them, so I don't need them. They're not giving me anything of value. But my coalition, let's see where we're ranked right now. Our coalition is ranked, uh, let's see, we're ranked <laughs> 68. Oh, let's lose a few more points, coalition, so we can get ourselves into 69. Oh, it says 69 right there. Look at that. We're in the 69th level. So, Lamau, that's where I like to finish is level 69. That's about where our coalition finishes is top 69, top 70. So I'm, I'm excited for that. That's good. Here's why this is so disappointing for this event. We grind all weekend trying to get this stupid crap done. Let's look at the rewards for Fibblethip. Fibblethip's reward, I don't know if you can see it here, but right here, runes, we get five gems and 600 runes for five car, five sets, basically, we're mastering that are easy to complete, and we can finish them in less than 30 minutes. We get better rewards packs from Fibblethip than we do 
from a full weekend event. That is insane. Octagon, I love your app. I love this game. I'm a champion of it. I will celebrate it to the mountain of highs because I think it's one of the best games out there for mobile apps, especially if you're a Magic the Gathering paper player. This is garbage, man. Please make this event worth our time. Please. If you guys agree, let me know. Comment. You know, it, it really is embarrassing. And I'll post my final stats, maybe a screenshot of where we ended up when this was all said and done. But come on, man. We're better than this. We're better than this. Anyways, my friends, I appreciate you. I'm going to go back home and get some more construction done. I'm building a pantry in our house. Uh, appreciate you guys. I know you could be anywhere in the world and chose to listen to me rant for the last 15 minutes. I hope that you're doing well in this event, or do you even bother playing it? Comment, like, subscribe. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe. I want to get up to 100 subscribers. I got something special planned for you guys. Uh, Amazon gift card prizes and all kinds of different stuff. So get on it, my friends. I appreciate you, and I will see you in for the M21 release of Worth the Cards. Exciting. Exciting and new.